Well, hello, my children. <clears throat> Today I will be showing y'all how to clean your infected belly button ring um, or how to clean it right after you get it pierced or whenever it's just getting irritated. I got my belly button pierced about a month ago, so yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what it looks like and show you everything that you will need to clean it with. So stay tuned if you want to see this video. See you in a minute. Um, I just got Morton brand, um, I think it was a dollar something. I'll put it in the description. I'm not sure. Some water. It doesn't really matter if it's in a bottle or not. I just had it laying around. Um, some cotton swabs. These are from the dollar store. They were only a dollar. And then also a cup to put everything in. Then what you're want, going to want to do is get um, your cup, put about half a cup of water, and then either two, three t tablespoons of sea salt. And, um, going to put that in the microwave and then after you're gonna stir it until it's almost dissolved um, and then I'll show you what you need to do whenever I get back okay y'all <clears throat> so this is what my belly ring looks like it's kind of flaky it's got some crust it's pretty disgusting sorry for my belly here I just have a hairy belly and I have stretch marks from the baby but yeah, that's what it looks like. Pretty nasty. Now I'm going to go show y'all how to clean it. Okay, y'all, so I took some sea salt water in the spoon, and now I'm going to sit it right here in front of y'all. Now, like, what, what I like to do is take a couple con swabs and dip it in the um, solution. And now I like to clean the crust around my belly ring. I usually hold the bottom ball so it doesn't move around too much and irritate it more and then I'll clean around the holes okay and after that um, for the second thing that I usually do if it's really irritated I'll take the cup of sea salt that I have and I'll just kind of put it on there like that and swish it around and I'll do that for about um, five minutes and then when I'm done with that take a clean towel or paper towel and dry around it and then um yeah so that's how I clean it um yeah also um don't Make sure you clean your hands before you do this because you don't want to have any bacteria on it. Um, and you could also just dry it with the um, Q-tip. So yeah, I uh, hope this helped y'all. Okay guys, so I hope that I hope this video helped you and um, like and subscribe for more videos. Um, thank you so much.